hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to look at um Kriegen interpolation it's um, a geospatial technique used in gis to predict values of a variable across what a geographic area based on a set of known sample points now it predicts values based on a set of what known sample points so you can have them um, sample points for soil information maybe for rainfall even for elevation data right good and then you want to um, predict yeah using what this um Kriegen interpolation so we are going to use them um, ArcGIS for today's tutorial we just wanted to add them um, a base map so you can add your data using this add data or okay let's add our csv as a table file it's added as a table or you can just come through this way and then let's add what the boundary data right good so we can decide to zoom to the boundary data to see how it overlays on our base map however the point data has not been added because it's just like a standalone table so we right click and then we click on them um, or we select display xy data right good so that it now adds what the xy um, coordinates to the map so um, from the display xy data we have the x field to be the longitude y field to be the latitude and then the z field to be the altitude right good now for the crs that it automatically detected it's not correct because um, we are not using um, any other system than the geographic so let's edit and then you can actually search wgs 1984 so there are quite some options but um, we come up to geographic we are not using projected and then we select the first option right good so this is the option for which this um, data is um, having the um, coordinate system so we click on ok and then um, we also click on ok it does not have an um, object id field no problem now you can see that the points have been um, overlaid on what our boundary so we can decide to work on the um, symbology of the boundary let's make this two and then let's change the color to something close to red right good so um, okay let's take out this because good so um, we have the boundary and then we have the sample point so let us now use the krieg into so you come to act toolbox under act toolbox you come to the spatial analyst tools then under the spatial analyst tools you click on interpolation right good so we have our krieg in here now before we proceed we need to set the environment so that um, whatever um, interpolation we want to carry out will be within our environment so we come to environment then for the processing extent let us use um, the same as layer that's what the asaga that we have here so that our interpolation will not go outside right good then let's see for the raster analysis you know one thing is that you can always be looking at um, the help that is here so that um, you understand what um, some of the options are so for the raster analysis let's still use what asaga as the max right good so i won't set the environment let's now impute the parameters for what the krigging so it interpolates the raster surface from points using krigging so the points will definitely be the point data that we have added and then the z value um, the z value field was wrongly um, highlighted so we are using altitude so let's use this as the um, output as it has been automatically um, indicated right good so um, since um, we are going to leave every other parameter as default as I uh, remember that you can always use what they help to guide you on whatever options that um, you want to choose right good for each of the parameters so we click on ok good so we have um, a success report here 
um, it has been interpolated successfully and then you can rightly confirm that the interpolation was actually within our extent so let's see what we can do with the symbology we right click we come down to properties then um, under the properties we come up to symbology we can see what the classes that um, was given we have about nine classes we can decide to reduce or increase it so let's take it to four or five okay let's make it five then you can see that it has been automatically reclassified right good so if you come up to classify and then you want to use any of the classification method depending on what you want to achieve you can select any right good so let's use um equal interval on today's tutorial and then we are saying we are using what um, about five classes right good so we click on ok then for the color ramp we can decide to use um, a different color ramp based on what our choice and all of that so from the color ramp we are seeing that um, we have two to be red and then um, 16 to be blue which means um, the lower elevations are red the higher elevations are blue which um, does not really depict how it is supposed to be because we would prefer it to be the other way around right good so let's just apply for the moment and then we click on ok so from this now we can decide to label our let's still come up to properties we can decide to label our point data with what the with the elevation field right good so now you can see the labeling field is latitude however all we need is what the altitude to be the field right so we select altitude now you can actually maybe modify the font you know use a font that you prefer to use so let's say we want to use times new roman and then let's say we want it to be about 15 right good i think that's a bit legible you can decide to also change what the the color of the text and some other modifications that um, you want to do so we just um, apply and then we click on ok label features okay so um it's a bit very loud but at least we can see the different elevation values so we can decide to just um, reduce it because um, the 15 is too loud so let's make it about 10 or 8 right good so we apply and we click on okay so we have used the um, Kriegen method to interpolate um this um, elevation values right good now from the color ramp we have here you can see that elevations from around 2.7 to 6.2 are red so if you come up to this point you can easily visualize that then um, elevations that are around um, maybe 16 are bluish so we have about um, some values that are from 16 to 20 around this point so this is how you can use what um, let's zoom to layer this is how you can use um kriegen yeah kriegen method to carry out um, interpolation in um actions right good so the applications are enormous it can be in um it can be in agriculture as we have said something about um, soil information you can have it in um, mining you can have it in environmental sciences just like we have an um, elevation value here yeah, maybe you also want to have some rainfall data so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular GIS problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye